Tenants at an apartment complex in Tigerland say they got 24-hour notices to vacate last week. Several people called to on your side this morning. Brittany Weiss went by to see what the fuss is about. Taking a walk around Tiger Park in Tigerland, and people are anxious to tell their story. Alexis Johnson moved into her apartment a month ago. Her flooring is coming up. There's sewage coming up her drains and an outlet that sparks. We went from nothing to something, so like this was fun. You were in the street? Yeah, so that's why I was like... She has three children living in here with her, and it's dangerous. Last week, she was given a 24-hour notice to vacate for non-payment of rent. She's not the only one. Her grandma recently moved here. She got one, too, and now she's facing an eviction. Derek Johnson is speaking on her behalf. There's rats. They, they have found multiple rats in there, and it's just, it's not safe. The bathroom situation in this unit isn't any better. Mm. <laughs> Would you say in something like this? Mm. Mm -hmm. And there's a hole in the roof that leaks when it rains. He still needs to be held responsible for the conditions that he putting them in. Tiger Park is operated by Dr. Barry Wang. I have visited with him on several occasions. How you doing? Yeah, long time no see. Long time no see. What's going on? Keep running, keep running. He claims tenants don't pay their rent and tenants say he won't pay to fix things that are broken or clean before new tenants move in. He don't want to give out the money. That's what I feel. It appears to be a never-ending cycle. Their little kids can't even drink no water because they got sewer coming up. One that could end in eviction for the person who lives here. Two on your side in Baton Rouge, Brittany Weiss, WBRZ News 2. Wang says he would file at least one eviction today for non-payment of rent.